All right, we welcome in uh, Doris Burke now. Hi, Doris. Uh, I want to I want to ask you about what I was just asking Danny about. What, what, is your sense from being around uh, Golden State all day, understanding that Durant is getting closer for Friday and that you you had a great line, you have to protect the player from himself in Clay's case, is your sense that they're looking at Friday and saying, let's play with as healthy a group as we can get then and, and, and roll the dice tonight? Is that the sense you had? Yes, absolutely. I think there was real concern of a risk of worsening that right hamstring strain for Clay Thompson and you do have to protect a man like Clay. Remember this is a man who had blood coming out of his ear in the Western Conference Finals a couple of years ago and actually got back on the floor. This is the guy who had had several teammates tell me last year should have never played on the ankle he played on. So Clay was hurting. It was absolute torture for him. We had great footage of him during the course of this game. Yeah. It is killing him. Uh, but I think they made the right choice because you know they're I think they're hoping Friday both men are back now in no way should the performance of Toronto be discounted all credit to them I think Clay's absence on the defensive end really showed itself more if than anything else because Toronto got Doris whatever it wanted as you watch them on that end what did you notice was working so well for the Raptors. Well I'm going to start with the defense if you don't mind Scott Please, of the Golden State Warriors. Yeah just because I thought in the first quarter they didn't have a level of intention and focus and, and the kind of requisite toughness required. They allowed Pascal Siakam to get loose in transition OK and that that's what fuels that young man's game. He's still finding his basketball ego. You know it's not a hundred percent search so you allow him to get started and then the third quarter as well Scott. This is a team that has been so dominant in the third quarter and yet somehow inexplicable inexplicable. Applicably, you can live with the missed shots if you're Steve Kerr because you're you're playing so many different rotations and guys who are given a chance where maybe if they're healthy they don't even see the floor but it's not you, you have to bring it on the defensive end you've got to be locked into the assignments the game plan and I didn't think they had it consistently tonight and that's what it was about for me. Last quick thought Doris as a Hall of Fame basketball player which you are how dangerous does Toronto become when Danny Green sees the ball go in when Kyle Lowry sees the ball go in I know Kevin Durant hasn't played yet but like this is a, this is a championship level team now their confidence is higher than it's been. Well you've got the closure in Kawhi should you need it when Kyle Lowry is aggressive they are a different team they've got a number of different options offensively they're excellent defensively but the bottom line is this is about health I mean the Golden yep. State Warriors if they get healthy they can win three easily sure. and quickly uh, you and I you and I agree but that's a gigantic question mark uh, all we know is this Toronto's got a 2 1 lead and we we know we'll be talking on Friday Doris thanks so much look forward to it Scott.